Come with me today as we take Millie on her first ever camping trip in Japan. Not only that, it's also my first camping trip in my K van, which I've converted to a camper. I also have to tell you something really, really scary happened at the end of the camping trip at night time. So you'll have to watch all the way to the end of the video to find out what happened. But we are all okay and that's the main thing. So I'm getting myself ready for this camping trip because I really haven't camped with a cat before. So there's lots of things I've got to think about and organize for this trip. I've also been trying to get Millie ready for the trip by letting her explore the car. So I've just been opening the garage door. Normally she's not allowed in the garage because it's a little bit dangerous, but I've been opening the door and just letting her sniff around the car, get used to playing around inside and just get a feel for what it's going to be like to be in the car. I was also worried like if she ran away or got loose somehow that she'd know to come back to the car. So these are just the things that I'm doing to get myself ready. Now my garage is quite small so I can't open my back door when the car is fully inside so I've got to put the car forward so I can open the back door and access everything. I've got my Blue Eddy fully charged. I've had the solar panels outside the last couple of days and I've used solar to charge up the Blue Eddy so it's now sitting at 100% and I've pre-cooled the fridge down so I've just had that plugged into mains power just to get it cool so that um, I'm not using all the power in the blue eddy. I've done a bit of grocery shopping so I'm going to cook two meals while I'm camping. Uh, dinner and breakfast that's right. So the campsite I'm going to is about a 30 minute drive from me. I am taking my solar panels with me, so even though I've fully charged up the Blue Eddy, I want to practice because I'm planning on going on a week-long camping trip, so I'll definitely need to be able to use my solar panels when I go next time. So this is just a good practice run. So Miss Millie, she's all ready for her first trip. We've got her harness on. We've been practicing harness walking for a long time. Right now she thinks she's going for a walk, so she's keen to get away from me because the harness usually means walking. But in she goes in the car for her first little trip. So it was a super fast drive. We're already here. The Google Maps said 30 minutes, but it really only took me 25. And I'm so lucky I managed to get an Oceanside campsite. They're not that busy today. It is actually Monday, but it's a public holiday. So I'm a little bit nervous this awning. So as you know, if you watched my other video when I went to the river, I had two friends with me and they showed me how to put this awning up and I just watched how they did it. I didn't actually do it myself. So this is my first go trying to put the awning up by myself under the supervision of Millie, of course. When you're doing something like this on your own, it's a bit of a balancing act trying to get both sides to stand up while you get the heights right. The campsite next to me, they were a lovely couple. They said g'day and then watched me the whole time putting up my awning. So I felt a little bit of pressure with eyes on me, but in the end, I think I did it without too many issues. Because we are on a cliff, top here the wind is quite strong I mean it's not really strong but I got to make sure that this awning doesn't flap about so I'm putting all the bracing up and just making sure it's quite tight in all the areas So my future plan is to go for longer camping trips, not just overnight trips. And this is just practice with Millie, but also practice with me to get the van right. One of the things I want to be able to do is have power and not rely on sites that have power. I want to sort of be self-sufficient. So it's great to be able to get the solar going and just see how much input I get and how much output I use. I got this awesome outside playpen for Millie. So I love that it has all these windows, plenty of breeze can get through and it packs up really small. 
I also found at the 100 yen shop this little pet kit that's portable so it's all very light and compact which is exactly what I need in a small cave in where I just don't have the room or storage to cart around lots of different things. So my priority has been to get shade. It is 29 degrees today. It's not all that hot and we do have a nice breeze, but I know in the sun it can get really hot. So my priority was to get shade, get the solar system running and get Millie comfortable outside the car. So while she's getting used to her pen, I'm just setting up the table and a few other things. This is my first time setting up a lot of these things, so I'm a bit clunky with how I'm doing it, but it all makes sense. It's quite explanatory. I've got the fan on Millie just to be sure she's comfortable. Millie seems to be quite calm. She's a little bit distracted by all the birds and wildlife that's around her, but she seems quite happy. So this is the setup. I've got a few doors of the car open just to let the hot air out. There's a bit of a breeze. And this is what my setup for the next day is going to look like. So the solar panels are pumping solar in, so it's getting more power than what it's taking out with the fridge, which is exactly what I wanted. I've got the fridge set to four and the compressor's just kicked in so it's cooling it back down again. Lovely sea breeze, what a great spot this is. And my new neighbours have just pulled up next door and we had a little chat, what a lovely family they are. So I'm putting this uh, bug screen up and I'm hoping to be able to sleep with the car door open tonight and hoping this screen will just be enough to keep us cool and keep all the bugs out. The neighbours came over to see Millie. They couldn't believe there was a cat camping. <laughs> Little superstar. So while Millie was out, I thought I'd let her just sort of decide herself if she wanted to have a walk and explore. I'm just gradually, gradually letting her decide what we do here because I want this to be a good experience. I don't want to force anything on her. And for the moment, she's happy just sticking around the car. When she'd had enough, I just put her back in her little pen and I got back to setting everything up for the campsite. All of these things I got from the 100 yen shop, even these curtains that go over your windows. There's so many great things at this 100 yen shop for camping now. Down below, there's a little bit of a fishing spot too. So if I get a chance, I want to pop down there and check it out. So the lovely neighbours that just pulled up next to me have given me some fruit and it's actually been sweltering hot setting up the campsite so I think I need a bit of a sugar fix and this fruit looks perfect so I'm going to chop up this fruit and have a little bit of afternoon tea, rest for a bit and then get back into the next things. Although this campsite is a really popular place for people in Osaka, it's actually really quite empty today. So there's no one behind me in any of the non-waterside campsites. And all of the waterside campsites are full, but interestingly, the family next to me are just here for a day camp. So they're just here to cook some dinner, enjoy the view, and then they're gonna pack up and go home before it gets dark. Millie's taking a little bit of a rest now. She looks quite relaxed, so I thought it might be a good chance for me to just take off for a minute and have a look at the amenities around because I haven't wanted to leave her yet, but she seems quite happy. So just across from my campsite apparently is the toilets. So I'm just going to go and check out what these camp toilets look like. 
Everything here seems really new and clean, so I'm sure they're going to be fine. Yes, thank goodness, a normal flushing toilet. Just what I want to see. And across from the bathroom is this private campsite. So you can't get down there with the car, but if you want privacy with your camping, this is the most amazing spot. You could go down there with a the tent and have it all to yourself with an amazing view. So as I said, on the right hand side, you can see no one's really camping there. And then on the ocean side, there are a few people camping. There's also this camp kitchen area complete with jido hanbaiki or vending machine. So you can get any juices or drinks or coffees. And all of the rubbish bins are here for your rubbish. And there's even a shower with hairdryer and fan. And that's coin operated. And then there's the camp kitchen. I'm not gonna go in there now because someone's in there at the moment. I don't wanna disrupt them. There's one of the staff. And down there, there's a little park and a walk. So I might check that out later tonight. I just wanna get back to Millie to make sure she's okay. I love looking at different people's camp setups. And Millie saw me go for a walk, so she wanted to get out of her pen straight away. So I let her out and I'm just once again going to be guided by her what she wants to do. If she wants to walk or wants to stay by, but nope, she got a little bit scared and went back in again. So I'm just going to take it easy for a bit. Some birds were flying around. Now she wanted to be out again. So I'm just sort of, this whole trip is about Millie and what she wants to do. And she suddenly got some courage up and venturing a little bit far away from the car. And now she's running full steam ahead. She's seeing all sorts of things and wanting to go and investigate. She also went up to a few campers, which I didn't film to say hello to them. Millie's had her little adventure now and it's just about to get dark soon so I'm going to head back and start cooking the dinner for tonight and I've really just gone with something very very simple it's just some chicken and some seasoning which I picked up at a camp shop in Wakayama called Orange it's quite famous for camping gear but they make their own seasoning so I heard that was really delicious so I'm going to put that on the chicken and just fry it up but straight away I ran into a problem and it's too windy here on the cliff so my flame wouldn't stay on so I had to move my whole setup up against the car and open the passenger door to act as a bit of a windbreak. I think something I'll have to think about for future camping is to get some kind of wind protection to stop the wind blowing out my flame. That's something I'll put on my list of things I need to buy. Well, it's definitely beer o'clock. It's been a very hot day, so I think I've earned this one. I'm just keeping it really simple with the salads. Just got some pre-made salad and some potato salad and a bit of dressing. And I'm just having that with chicken. I'm not going all out today. Cheers. As I was eating dinner, I realized the sun was setting and it was such a beautiful view out to the back of the car. Late summer definitely has some beautiful colored sunsets here in Japan. This campsite has some excellent rules and one of them is no music allowed, no noise allowed. So it's just beautiful. So I'm going to wash up my dishes back to the camp kitchen now 
and I thought I'd go and check out that little walk that they have and this I must say I started off quite confident and fine but halfway through the walk I got a little bit terrified. They've got it all decked out for Halloween and as I was walking around having a look through suddenly I got chills up my spine and I had to make a bit of a run for it back to the campsite because I think I scared myself. I don't know what I was thinking coming here at night. I know it's pretty, but it was a little bit too spooky for me. So straight back to the van and see what Millie's up to. There she is. Well, it's been a lovely day and I am feeling a little bit tired and I think I'm going to be able to sleep well. Millie's also looking very tired so we're going to have a nice rest. I'd say we got a couple of hours sleep. Millie probably didn't sleep much at all if I'm totally honest. There was so much for her to see outside things flying around and the campsite actually has two cats and one of those cats actually came walk about in the night and Millie got all excited to see another cat walking around outside it was very cute so so I fed Millie first now it's time for coffee and as I said I'm just keeping things simple I bought drip coffee today and I bought this absolutely fantastic aluminium kettle which it's so light it boiled really really fast before I even got the milk out of the fridge it was already boiling having a fridge when you're camping is a real game changer it it just means you can do so much more with your menu So today is Tuesday and yesterday was a public holiday because we had a long weekend so I actually have to go to work today later on this afternoon and I chose today to go camping because the site was available and I think on weekends it's probably a lot more crowded than this but I'm enjoying the peace and quiet and I don't even mind that I have to go to work this afternoon. Millie's feeling a lot more adventurous this morning and doesn't want to be in her pen at all. She wants to be out with me, which is cute. And she's found a little crab by the looks of it. <laughs> I'm loving this for her. I'm loving it that she can enjoy the outside. Now I do want to have some breakfast so I'm going to have to put her in the pen because I just can't keep my eye on her and cook at the same time. So this morning we're going to have a simple omelette. Once again, thanks to the fridge I've been able to bring along all of these ingredients. As I said, I do have work today so I need a solid breakfast to keep me going. I was just wondering do you ever go camping and what do you normally cook when you go camping? I was trying to think about the menu for this trip and I really didn't come up with many inventive ideas but if you have any ideas would you leave them in the comments for me? I'd love to know some other camping recipes that have been popular or worked well for you. 
I guess one of the key points is to keep it as simple as possible because you don't want to be carrying around too many ingredients. For some reason I forgot to bring cutlery so I did bring a fruit fork but I didn't bring any proper size cutlery. I bought a pair of chopsticks but I'm realizing that's one of the things I'm going to have to add to my bag is some cutlery like knives and forks. I guess when you're camping you've got limited space so I was just trying to pack as light as possible but there are things you just can't do without. This campsite, the checkout is 11 o'clock, so you can spend a good amount of time here. Check-in is at one, check-out at 11, so you get a good amount of time here. Ideally, I would have loved to come here for two nights, not one but my schedule just hasn't allowed at this time. And as I mentioned before, I have to go to work. So the safest place for Millie is in the car while I'm packing up. So I've got the fan on in the car for her. So I bought a USB fan, which I'm running off the Blue Eddy. Putting away this awning is definitely a lot easier than putting up, but it really wasn't that hard putting it up. So I'm not complaining. I figured I can do this easily by myself. I don't know if I'd like to try and do it on a really windy day. I've just been very lucky that there hasn't been much wind, so it's been quite doable on my own. All the poles are aluminium, so I really want to be careful not to bend anything or get it warped out of shape because I heard that they can bend quite easily. And that's it. It was as easy as I made that look. It wasn't hard at all, even though I was told it might be a bit complicated on my own, but no, I had no worries at all. So time to head home. What a wonderful camping trip that's been. And I think for Millie's first trip, she did a great job. She's very exhausted. I don't think she slept at all last night. And as I said, I have to go to work, so I do need to empty the car out because I drive to work. So I'm going to empty the fridge and get the Blue Eddy out, all of the heavy things, all of the cutlery and stuff like that. I'm unpacking it straight away, and then I'm going to jump straight in the shower, and off I go to my day's work. But thank you so much for joining me on this first camping trip. What did you think? And thank you so much for liking and subscribing to the video. See you later.